we are now in the Moon River area, the uh, Massasauga Provincial Park. This is, and this has a number of what are called designated anchoring bays. And there's very few cottages, private buildings in here because it is uh, mostly provincial parkland. And this is our first time up this way in the last two seasons. Very pretty, very picturesque. Lots of rocks and trees. The only comment is it's we're in drought conditions this summer. Only like two days of rain in all of July, and maybe one day so far in August. And it is very dry, very parched conditions. Fire bands so everywhere. Far in August. Yeah, one day in August. Of rain? Of rain. What day is this in August? Today's the sixth day of August for those of you following along at home or sitting beside me. So there is a cottage there, but if you look, the trees are going to look as green and robust as uh, years past simply because it's so dry. A lot of the leafy trees are completely dried out and they're losing their leaves already. It looks like fall, even though we're just the beginning of August. Hot, dry conditions all summer and spring and winter as a matter of fact. We had a very, very warm winter and spring and very dry. We've had nothing for rain on our holidays. Yep. So this is where we are in uh, Port Rossum Bay, up on Georgian Bay, and for the first time ever we're tied to a overnight mooring buoy. And as the sign says, $10 per night, no rafting of boats, maximum recommended length 35 feet, use at own risk but by accepting the ten dollar fee isn't that a binding contract and the whole use at your own risk part has now become null and void whatever i don't care i'm just happy to be here and this is like i say the first time for us to be on a mooring buoy in this uh beautiful spot there are four in this bay to at this end there's that sea ray right there is uh, fastened to the other one on this side and then across the way where that little dinghy is heading towards I don't know if you can see that one yellow dot that is another anchoring buoy and then that one there I'm not sure whether that bay liner in the distance is hooked to it or not. It seems to be a little ways off. They just may have a lot of line out. But a nice night again. First night off the dock for us. It was extremely windy yesterday. Uh, high wind warnings in effect, uh, white caps and all we did, we were tied to a dock that said it was a floating dock and all we did was bounce up against the dock as it was going up and down with the waves and so were we and all we heard was squeak 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 of the fenders against the dock all night. So didn't get a lot of sleep, of course all the bouncing around as well didn't help. So hopefully it stays calm tonight and we will be in better shape for a nice night of sleep. Nice spot. One more slice of heaven on the 30,000 islands. <laughs> 